Thank you for joining me right here on the Solid Sports and Gaming Channel. You're watching another edition of the Solid Sports Video Blog. Today's date is September 17th, 2020. This is episode 139. And a special Thursday night football edition. Now we're going to start our Thursday night football editions of the blog. Thank you for joining me. I'm Troy West. Uh, to, uh, tonight's matchup, which is Thursday night football, the Cincinnati Bengals come in off a loss. So will be the Cleveland Browns who will be hosting the night from Cleveland. Um, they also in the whole 1-0-1 as they got destroyed by the Baltimore Ravens and the Bengals coming off a loss against the Los Angeles Chargers in a close game. Um, so uh, just like we did, uh, I think I did it last year for a while. Um, every Thursday I come here, we preview the Thursday night game and sort of look forward to uh, the rest of the games this week, I had my power records, my first power records of the season. So we'll do all that in this episode. Um, and then Saturday, I'll be right back with our normal weekly blog. A lot going on in the world of sports now. As everything is kicked back up, the NBA playoffs getting more heated. Um, Lakers and the Denver Nuggets, you would think it would be the LA Clippers. Uh, but we'll talk all about this. Sorry, I, I, gotta, I pretty much owe the Nuggets an apology. I doubted them pretty much. This whole playoffs and this would be raw, Jamal Murray in particular. Uh, but we'll talk all about that Saturday, but we're going to focus on football. And it's tonight, Thursday night matchup. Uh, in the AFC North matchup, Cincinnati Bengals and the Cleveland Browns. Um, let's talk about the Bengals first. They come on the road. Um, uh, like I said, they lost last week to the uh, LA Chargers. Could have um, forced overtime, but the kicker supposedly uh, injured his leg on the game time kick and uh, the Bengals could recover from that and they wind up losing 16 to 13 um, but the days I looked at from that game Joe Burrow he looked the comfortable he looked the good his first start of course the heralded number one pick from LSU um, uh, had the Russian touchdown that you saw there um, you know numbers wasn't you know uh, off the page but uh, I just, I just think he looked the He looked like a dead headlight, so I think that's a good sign for Cincinnati. Um, I, the way I feel about the Bengals, I think they got, like I said, I think they got a decent team. You know, they still got AJ Green. We're gonna talk about him and Joe Mixon in a second. Um, uh, they got a decent team. They just, I think they're gonna get better as the year goes on. You know, uh, like I said, with no OTAs, no um, preseason. Like I said, preseason really. Now you can everybody say how much important preseason is now, you know, that the season started. Um, I think teams probably, I wonder when they, because uh, they was trying to negotiate uh, having less preseason games. I wonder when the players sort of change their mind on that now, um, feel how everybody said it's important, but that's another subject for another day. But uh, I think that's why I think the Bengals will get better as the season goes on, they'll be a better team. I think Burrow will continue to improve. Um, I think they're going to be a pat in the butt down the end of the season. Um, maybe when, when playoffs come around, the days of that nature, I think they're going to be just a tough team to play every week. Um, and they are now probably. Uh, I think this game is going to be close, um, in my opinion. Um, some people are thinking Cleveland might blow them out. It's possible. Because Cleveland, you know, uh, I guess, you know, they could, they're a deeper team. But um, I think it's going to come down to the wire. But I was just talking about A.J. Green, of course, the receiver for the Bengals, long-time Bengal. Um, of course, they tried to trade him last year and wind up keeping him. Um, uh, last year, you know, I was like, nah, you know, they should have traded A.J. Green. Like, who else do you have? Um, but now, you know, since they've taken this new turn, new direction, trying to get younger, um, I, it makes sense um, to try to trade him. Um, but if they keep him, I think that's good as well. Uh, I think either way, uh, it may be good for the Bengals. I think you could at least get some type of good compensation for Green. Maybe trade him to a team that's on the cusp um, of winning this year. Um, I think uh, he'd be a good addition um, still to be a number one receiver. Um, of course, not as how he used to be but because um, he's older. But um, still one of the top receivers. I still would put him probably in my top five personally. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, we'll see. Uh, ain't no rumble. Well, you know, ain't been no rumbles lately, but I mean, it could be going on behind the scenes that they're trying to shop them again. But, um, 
I think either way it's good for the Bengals, long term or short term. Um, he's a good veteran, uh, always been a, a low key guy. I think he's a good locker room presence. So either way, I think you make out um, if you keep him or if you trade him. But uh, we'll see how that turns out. That's something to look at for the rest of the Bengals season. And Joe Mixon, um, like I said, he had his troubles off the field um, before he got drafted. Um, a few years ago, but he just got an extension uh, right before the season started. Um, not like Joe Mixon, I think he's been the most consistent player um, on this team for the last couple of years, um, despite um, uh, them not winning as much. He's been the consistent guy, um, so I think it was good to uh, lock him up and pay him. Um, like I said, I like him a lot, uh, probably through fantasy, honestly, when I played fantasy football last year, well, the last few years, I'm, last, I'm not in the league this year, I was just going to join some random league, but I decided not to, because, uh, uh, you know, just a lot of, you know, you had to put, well, you had to put a lot of time into fantasy, but you gotta keep checking your roster and everything like that, but, um, uh, kind of wanted to play this year, but, uh, I'm not in the league this year, but, uh, um, definitely know him from fantasy football. He's been very consistent. Um, I drafted him a few times or picked him up a few times, and he's done well for me. But um, but even in the you know even in the real field, uh, he plays pretty well. Um, so I think it was smart for Cincinnati. Uh, so him and Barrow and Green, that's a good sort of little three-headed monster. Even though Green, of course, is the older guy. Um, but I think it was good for them to lock up Joe Mixon. Uh, some people think, man, you know, running backs, period. A lot of running backs got paid um, before the season started. If Kamor, for, uh, excuse me, for um, New Orleans, he got paid at the, all the hoopla about him. Um, uh, of course, Derrick Henry. Um, uh, I think, uh, yeah, a couple guys. So, um, so uh, I think they was good to give Joe Mixon his money. Uh, let's talk about the Browns now. The Browns, uh, of course, coming off a devastating loss to the Ravens. Uh, well, was it, I guess it depends how you look at it, but it was never really a game. Um, 38 to six was the final. Um, I watched most of this game, and uh, already the drama starts. They lose. Uh, what they gonna do with OBJ? Um, they say, well, behind the scenes, he wants to be traded and, and all this other stuff. Um, Baker Mayfield been getting a lot of heat, uh, which I think he deserves right now. Um, I think he needs to get better, obviously. Um, we'll talk about him more in a minute. But um, just the Browns drama. Um, they say, like, it always comes around. Um, but if they win this game, uh, especially if they win it convincingly, um, that could quiet some people for now. Um, but I don't know why they just don't run the ball. I got that written down, like, run the ball. Like, even in the Ravens game, um, uh, Chubb and, uh, Kareem Hunt was getting yards. Like, I was getting nervous as a Ravens fan. I was like, hey, if they run the ball, it could be just like last year when they came to Baltimore and won. Um, but they won't commit to the run, I guess. I don't know if they're trying to get Baker, you know, maybe Baker try to, you know, make Baker feel good or... You know, get that pass the game going because, well, you know, OBJ, he gets frustrated if he don't get the ball. Um, and then we forgot about Jarvis Landry. Um, or Joku, who had a couple of big catches before he got hurt. So that's unfortunate on uh, the tight end. Um, who he wanted out, I think. Um, but uh, he had a good game Sunday. You know, a decent game. Um, but I think if they commit to the run, I think everything else opened up. I think they got to commit to the run. Get the ball to Chubb and Hunt. Um, they pissed, that's who I was thinking about, Kareem Hunt, he just got paid, uh, um, despite, you know, his offer, you know, imagine if he was still at Kansas City, though, even though they felt the, uh, the rookie, um, uh, and that looked like he's going to be a decent, uh, running back for them, but, uh, he was something else at Kansas City, and then with, for Holmes, uh, yeah, I mean, that's something I guess that's probably be always looked at, um, years from years to come, but, uh, he, you know, he looked at good Sunday. Um, they just didn't commit to the run, you know. I mean, they got down, so that, you know, that probably factored it into it as well. You know, once you get down a certain amount of force, you got to throw the ball more. But um, I think they just got to commit to the run. I think everything else will play itself out. Um, but let's get more to Baker, uh, Baker Mayfield. 
Um, I still believe him. I don't think he's uh, done or washed up. Well, I want to say washed up because he's young, but I think the Browns need to, uh, you know, just, just stick behind him for now. Um, I hear some people say, well, uh, what has he done, you know, to for it to be a commitment? Maybe they should be looking at somebody else, but uh, um, I think right now in the position they're in, I mean, who else are you going to turn to? You're going to try to find a veteran to plug in the hole? Or I think you need to just stick with Baker. Uh, last week was just one game. Kevin okay, Red to one game. Ravens is probably one of the best teams in football. So um, yeah, they lost pretty handily, um, but uh, it can't be too much into week one, especially this year. The way, like I said, no pro preseason, none of that stuff, no practice. You know, you just started practicing and everything. So I think you just gotta be more patient with Cleveland. Um, I think a lot tonight though. The <laughs> And uh, things are going to get worse. The drama probably going to really stop boiling over um, if they lose this game tonight at home. Um, so, got to get it done. But Baker, like I said, I believe in Baker. I think he just, I think he has the right attitude. I just, he just need to basically put up or shut up now. Like, you know, and people make it, you know, he's been in all the commercials and seeing the progressive commercials and uh, Hulu sports, all the commercials that he has. But, he hasn't won anything yet. That always, you know, when any player get a lot of commercials and they ain't win, people always say that. So that's not a surprise. Um, um, but I still think he could be a good quarterback in this league. He just got to start showing it a little bit more. But like I said, help him out. Run the ball. You know, do some play action. You know, like everything opens up. If you can run the ball, everything is open up for everybody. So I think they need to give Nick Chubb to me right now. Is the, that's your best offensive player. Like, Despite oh, that was Beckham and Jarvis Landry and Joku and everybody else, I think uh, Nick Chubb is your most consistent. Like he was second in the league in Russia last year, so give him the football at least 20 times and take it from there. You know, make sure he gets 20 uh, carries or touches, or whatever. But he's your best player, so um, if they do that, they'd be fine. But Baker, you know, he gotta just focus and. Um, we we'll see how it looks tonight, you know, like I said, uh, this is a big game tonight, even though it's only week two, I think it's a big game, because I think if they lose this game, uh, it's going to be trouble with Cleveland. <laughs> um, but the final verdict here, uh, like I said, I think this will be a close game, the vision games are always tricky, like they can be blowouts, like how they got blown out Sunday, or it could be, usually be tight. Um, I think this game will be tight, I think Cincinnati will give them a fight, um, but I think the Browns will win. Got a sort of low score, I think 20 to 17 around that score. I don't like picking scores, but I think it'd be like a three point margin. I think the Browns uh, either by a late field goal or already have a little bit of a cushion that Cincinnati might try to push back. Um, but I got the winning by three. Uh, the spread is five and a half, which is, I think that's, uh, that's fair. Um, for Cleveland, they are five and a half point favorite. I think that's kind of fair. Um, but the Bengals, like I said, they impressed me even though they lost last week. Um, the way they fought in that game against the Chargers. Um, but I think the Browns just a little bit, just just better. Just a better team. Um, and I think they'll show it tonight um, and win this game. So uh, that's the preview of the game tonight. So let's go into the week two power records. Uh, I did do a power records to begin the season. Uh, which maybe I should have, because um, maybe I would have more of a, uh, you know, I could explain it more, you know, like, all right, well, they st this team started at number one, and whatever, whatever, but uh, I don't think it's going to be that much of a surprise. I think a lot of people pretty much will agree with me. I think probably at the bottom, uh, could be, you know, you could put a lot of teams there, which I explain. But we're going to start with number five. Uh, my team, number five this week, uh, the Green Bay Packers. Um, I was really impressed when they went on Sunday against the Minnesota Vikings. The Minnesota Vikings, I got them, you know, as a contender in the FC and to win that division in the North. But the Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers looked like the old Aaron Rodgers. He torched them for four touchdowns. He was just on fire Sunday against that Minnesota defense was supposed to be one of the best in football. Um, got torched. Uh, so Minnesota, I'm a little bit now skeptical on. Even though it's one game, like I said, you can't put too much in one game, but it's still impressive. Um, so I put Green Bay at five. Um, number four, the Seattle Seahawks. Um, 
Like I said, I'm real high on the Seahawks. I got them making it to the Super Bowl in the NFC. Um, they went to Atlanta, um, won that game on the East Coast in Seattle. Not, uh, that's been one of the Achilles heels over the years, not maybe to win on the road and just having a dominant home record. Um, they got a big game against New England this week. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, like I said, I love Russell Wilson. Like I said, it could be MVP. He had a monster game. Um, I was really impressed with that win. Atlanta, like I said, not the Falcons, not nothing to sneeze at. They're a decent football team. Go on the road to win. I think that was impressive. So I got Seattle number four. Number three, the New Orleans Saints. Um, I, like I said, I, they didn't, the def, to me, the defense impressed me with them Sunday. Uh, the offense was a little shaky. Now Michael Thomas is out uh, for weeks uh, with a sprained ankle. Uh, Sean Payton getting heat for that while he was in the game. You know, the game was over, blah, blah, blah. I don't really put too much stock in that. I think, uh, it was still, you know, I mean, you probably knew the Saints was going to win, but it was still close enough that, you know, but he was trying to be aggressive. It really put Tampa Bay away. Um, and Michael Thomas wound up getting hurt, so that's a big loss for the uh, Saints. Uh, Drew Brees. He looked it okay to me. A lot of people say he's done, he's done. I ain't gonna go that far, but uh, he don't look like the uh, regular Drew Brees, you know. He looked his age Sunday. Um, him and Tom Brady, actually, to me. But I think they still uh, are decent. Um, Saints got a big Monday night game against uh, the Oakland Raiders. Uh, there we go. The Las Vegas Raiders. That's gonna take me a while to get used to that, that one. Um, Open up their new stadium, so that's a big game. Let's see how they looked then. But the defense looked a pretty sharp um, on Sunday. So uh, I got the Saints number three. Uh, and just because I think, you know, they're going to do well this year. You know, that's why, you know, some of the teams up here. Uh, number two, the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, just talked about them against the Browns. The uh, Lamar Jackson looked like uh, like he throwing the ball a lot better. I don't think he ran. I think he only ran the ball about four or five times. He didn't run the ball that much. Um, he threw the ball and looked a shot throwing it. Um, hit every, hit all the receivers. Um, uh, the, the running game, I'm a little bit worried about with the Ravens. Usually, you know, that's their kill. You know, that's the uh, strength. Um, but they didn't need to run the ball because uh, they couldn't. Cleveland couldn't stop them anyway. Um, uh, you know, the rookie J.K. Dobbins from uh, Ohio State, um, he had two touchdowns. Uh, Ravens looked good. You know, the defense also was impressive. Um, and like I said, I think they're going to be contender to come out the AFC, so they're number two. And number one is probably obvious, the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, big win against uh, the Houston, Texas uh, Thursday, last Thursday. Uh, the opening season, uh, Patrick Mahomes uh, look like he's getting smarter, which is scary. Like he can, like he just said, he can start to read defenses now, and he looked like he did. You know, he took with the defense game with the young rookie uh, running back. Um, um, looked at pretty impressive. Uh, Tyreek Hill still like Tyreek Hill. Uh, Travis Kelsey had a touchdown. So I mean, Cleveland, I mean, um, Kansas City looks pretty well, pretty good. Look like the defending champions. It's going to be hard to stop them more offense. Um, defense, uh, the pass rush was good. Um, the secondary wasn't bad either, but the pass rush really pretty much uh, with uh, Clark uh, my friend. Um, so, like I said, if Kansas City gets any type of defense, I mean, it's just going to be hard to beat them every week. Um, so, they is number one. Um, I think they play um, the Chargers this week. Yeah, they got the Chargers. Uh, Ravens uh, against the Houston Texans, who are just coming off the loss to the Chiefs. They go to Houston. I said the Saints go to Las Vegas. Uh, Seattle, they play uh, New England on Sunday night. And I think uh, Green Bay is in Detroit this week um, at number five on my list. So Packers five, Seahawks four, three Saints, three, two Ravens, number one, Kansas City Chiefs defend the champions until they lose, they'll definitely be number one. Um, other teams I've thought about, uh, speaking of the New England, Cam Newton, they looked pretty good um, as they come off of winning the Buffalo Bills, I thought about putting them in there, but one team I definitely sort of wish I could have, I probably should have tied them at five, is the Tennessee Titans. Um, 
But uh, only why I was like I decided to keep them out because um, uh, Denver, you know, the Denver game was close, um, and then a uh, uh, terrible game by the kicker Gorkowski, but he was able to win the game at the end. Um, I just think they looked just kind of sloppy, but uh, I was gonna give them some respect because, like I said, they did get to the AFC Championship last year, and you know, they, when they win this game, and it's hard to win at Denver, regardless of how bad or good the Broncos, even though I think the Broncos, even though Drew Locke, he didn't look too bad, what I see from him, he was uh, I said, that's my reason I was high on the Broncos. And then now you probably lost Von Miller for the year, which is a big loss. Um, I just don't think Devers will do, do too well this year, but uh, Drew Locke, uh, he didn't look too bad. Uh, Ryan Tatterhill played all right. Uh, Derek Henry did his thing. You know, he could carry the Titans by himself. Um, but now that the coat, the way the coats look with uh, um, Philip Rivers not looking, you know, he threw the ball all over the place, but he still looked like the old Philip Rivers from last year. So the Colts, but right, it took a step back. Ball and Mac out for the year, which is a big loss. I think they don't look as strong. I think Houston. I think I said I think Houston gonna win this division, but I think Titans have a chance to win it. Um, so. Uh, Maybe that's the only team I really thought hard about putting in this top five. Everybody else, you know, Pittsburgh looked good. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, yeah, that was probably it. Arizona, because what I think they're going to do this year, you know, maybe I thought about I really thought about Tennessee. Everybody else, like the uh, Washington, the way they, uh, they played uh, against the Eagles, the Eagles. Uh, looked at bad with that Washington defensive line uh, So you can argue for a lot of these teams, but the Titans was the one that I probably really considered putting this top five I think I feel good about my top five right now, but it'll change from week to week Because um, sometimes you know it's the NFL so um, We'll see how it looks next week. We'll keep an eye on that But uh, thank you for listening to that um so that'll do it for this edition, and you know, short. Well, hopefully it's kind of short. It shouldn't took that long. Um, Bagels and Browns is on the NFL Network, which kind of sucks for me because I'm not gonna be able to watch it tonight. But I keep an eye on it. Um, got basketball tonight. A uh, game two, Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, Celtics and Heat. That was a good game. One, bam, bam, with the block on uh, Jason Tatum to end the game to win it for Miami. Miami have a one nothing lead, and then Denver and, and the LA Lakers starts tomorrow. Um, I got the Lakers within that series. I'll talk more about it um, on Saturday. But uh, the Denver Nuggets, I, would, I wouldn't put nothing past the Nuggets at this point. Um, I think they could possibly win the whole thing. If they get by the Lakers, um, I think they could beat either Miami or Boston um, just by Nokic. I think he's going to be a problem in this series uh, for the Lakers. I think they at least win two games. Um, but we'll talk all about that Saturday. Um, baseball playoffs are heating up. Um, some teams clinched. The Dodgers clinched yesterday. Uh, NHL playoffs, um, uh, Tampa Bay and New York Islanders, Tampa Bay, I think lead that series three games to two, and uh, on the west side, the Dallas Stars eliminated the uh, Golden Knights of Las Vegas, so they're waiting for their opponent in the Stanley Cup. Um, so uh, a lot of sports going on because, you know, the pandemic, and I um, hope everybody stays safe with that. Um, uh, pray for the people on the West Coast, uh, California, Oregon, and uh, Washington dealing with those wildfires. Um, it's starting to even affect all the way on the East Coast, like they were saying. Uh, some of the smoke from the West Coast got on a jet stream. It's all it, like uh, it was spots here in Baltimore where I am. Um, orange skies. This that was from the smoke all the way from California and on the West Coast. So. Um, uh, you know, just uh, keep them people on your mind. Um, and um, I just want to thank you guys for listening. Uh, like I said, I'll be right back here Saturday. I don't know if it's going to be early or late. It might be. Depends on what's going on with me. Because um, I work Saturday, so I might I might just do it at night. I'm not sure. Or I might do it in the morning. Depends on, honestly, it depends on what I'm doing. Um, I got a free day. I got a day off tomorrow, so... I'm a, if I, you know, I mind, that's why I mind, mind up doing it a uh, Saturday night. Um, but uh, just thank you guys for joining me. Um, I appreciate all the support. Um, and I'll talk to you guys Saturday. Uh, enjoy the game tonight. 
enjoy uh, all the sports tonight and um, I'll talk to you guys soon thank you so much for watching uh, Browns win I think the Browns win the game tonight and thank you so much for watching